My name is Andrew, and this is Rogue Wrenching. Today, we're talking about how to manage a project, whatever that project may be. Sometimes you have a large project and there's a lot of different steps to take to accomplish that project, and often something like that can seem really daunting. Before we get into that, we're gonna go into today's meme of the day, which is not actually a meme, it's a sign. Remain calm, this is only a drill. And with that, let's jump into the video. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please drop a subscribe. I'm giving away $100 to a subscriber. There's a link right there to that video. Check that out as soon as we're done here. I'll link it down in the description as well. Today, we're discussing how to manage a large project. I'm working on a couple of large projects right now. I've got a sand rail that I'm building that's kind of a ground up build on a sand rail dual sport. I don't even know what it's gonna be exactly yet. But there's the rail build. I'm working on a backyard because my backyard is dirt and I want to make it something that's usable other than just a parking lot. And at the same time as I'm doing both of those two huge projects, I also work a full-time job and I have a wife and a beautiful daughter. So there's a lot of things you know, that call for my time and attention. And so managing a large project can be kind of challenging and it's really easy to get you know, stalled or burnt out when you're working on a project like this. So today what I'm gonna share with you is kind of my approach and how you can kind of overcome that and actually finish the project and not end up with a project car sitting in your garage for a decade. Whenever you're managing a large project, in my case, I'm building a sand rail. There's a lot of different things that need to be done. I need to modify the frame to accomplish what I want it to accomplish. I need to paint the frame. I need to set up and build a braking system. I need to build an engine that works, I need a transmission that works, I need a control system that works, I need an electrical system, I've gotta get it street legal, I've gotta get tires. There's a, just a bunch of different things that go into constructing a vehicle like this. The thing is that when you look at a large project, there's a large number of things you need to do, it can be overwhelming, and a lot of people struggle with that because it's hard to feel like you're making any kind of progress when there's still so much to do no matter how much you do. So my advice and the way I'm doing it is I've taken and broken down this huge project into small kind of bite-sized pieces. When you have a plan, you wanna take your big project, break it down into small, you know, bite-sized pieces that you can accomplish. You don't necessarily need to put a time schedule on that. You know, right now, the step of the project that I'm working on for the rail is the frame. I'd like to have it done in a month and a half. I don't know if that's gonna happen. The, the dates aren't really as critical as just breaking it down to right now, all I'm focusing on is this one specific aspect of the project. For me, that's the frame right now. Once the frame is done, then we can move on to other things. You know, the electrical system, the engine, the transmission, the brake system, all that sort of stuff can all be done after I finish the frame. The frame is step one, so that's where we gotta start. Product placement, check out this shirt. It's from Dude Dad's Merch. Taylor, if you wanna do a collab, I'm down. Quick recap, have a plan that breaks your project down into small pieces that can be actually be accomplished. You know, figure about a week to a month worth of work per step in your plan. Like you wanna get it that detailed. To each step in your plan, you should be able to accomplish within a week to a month. So have a plan, make your steps, make your plan detailed enough that the steps are small enough that they can actually be accomplished. Write that plan down and then as you go through it, cross those items off the list. Most people are very visual, so when you see you know, a big list and you can start knocking items off that list, that helps you mentally to keep your momentum up and keep going on the project even when it feels like it's stalling out because you can still see you're knocking items off of that list. So have a plan, write it down, check items off of it, and be detailed with that plan so that you can actually you know, work through items. It can't just be finish sand rail Okay, and then we're a year later, and it's like, I guess, I guess we still can't check that off. You know, we're gonna start with, you know, cut the frame, stretch the frame, paint the frame, you know, work, work through it in steps like that so that you can actually make progress, keep a list so you can see your progress, and that's how you're gonna actually 
finish a project without stalling or burning out. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you're new here, please, again, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll see you guys on the next one.